Hey folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Colin, call sign MM0OPX. Purpose of this video is to do a little mini review test of a new remote antenna switch that I've purchased. Um, now I've purchased this relatively local, so this is, came from Billy, GM6DX, and he's probably only 20 miles or so uh, as the crow flies. So I've purchased this um, switch outright, um, it's not been given me to trial or anything, so full disclosure on that. Um, I've had my eye on a, a remote antenna switch for a while, um, to use um, primarily portable. So if I want to go and set up a portable antenna farm, I've got the ability to, to switch between um, different antennas. Um, now, some remote antenna switches, you use what you call a bias T, and this is where you shoot uh, DC. You, you, enter, you basically put in a T section into your coax, your transmission coax, and uh, you uh, shoot up DC, because um, DC and RF can mix quite happily. So you shoot up DC and you can control your uh, antenna switch like that. Um, this one works a little bit different, so this works from CAT5 or CAT6 cable. So uh, I'm using just a cheap run of CAT5 um, cable, um, terminated an RG, RG45 on each end. Um, so what I'll do is, what I'll do is I'll actually show you me unboxing or unbagging the antenna. Um, I'll then show you me putting testing it on the bench or on the table, kitchen table. So basically I, I test it out with... Um, a multimeter just so I can get my bearings about it um, kind of understand the switch um, and then I'll set it up um, I'll connect it to two antennas in my garden my full-time antenna which is an off-center fed dipole for um, 40 20 and 10 but we're just going to concentrate on um, 20 meters so that's on 20 meters and I'll set up one of my adjusted wave vertical antennas also on 20 meters so we can change you can use the switch you know as an ab switch so we could you know we could check signals um uh, between the antennas but really it's really the purpose of this is just to test out the, uh, the switch just to use it for the first time um i have my linear right behind the camera here i've got my acom 1000 so we'll also test the uh, antenna out at full legal limit here in the uk right so without further ado let's get started Right, let's have a look and see what we've been setting here. Let's go and get the bag. There's another. Let's see what's in here first. Oh, another chicken bag. Wow, look at that. That is lovely. A lovely switch. So we've got a power connector in the back and an RG45 for the control. And here yeah, we've got a power cable so I'll need to um, I'll need to put power pole connectors onto this for that. Look, it's even fused. So we've got some spare glass fuses. These are green pair of glasses here. One amp for the looks of it. Check that back in here. You what though, um, a very, very well packed by Billy. There we go. So, this is the um, I 
guess what we call the remote the remote part of the switch. Um, so we've got a T transistor transceiver, sorry, <laughs> and obviously our four antenna inputs there, and an RJ forty five on the side. I did ask Billy um, what to do. Um, I'm going to be using this um, at the weekends and stuff, um, so I, I don't. I just want to use it temporary. Um, so I was asking him, should I kind of put house it in a waterproof box? And I says, oh, I've actually got some liquid electrical tape. So I think what I'll do is, I think I'll just put some tape around about the join there. And he says, just tape up the RJ45 and obviously your um, connectors when you're about to use them. But how um, how nice is that? And it really feels solid. Really is a nice um, solid bit of kit. Again, there's the switch. So I'll need to actually work out that when this is lit up, um, what's what. So I'll need to get an RG45 cable and I think I've actually I'll, I've got a couple of these made up um, just from connecting laptops and stuff up. So I think what we'll do next is we'll try and get it actually set up on the desk. I may even have cable made up already, a different one that we could try out and I think what I would do is I would actually just get my multimeter and I can test which is 1, 2 and 3 and 4 so let's do that right folks I've made a very basic cam rig just to get this um, operational and get it switching I had this cable, this this Cat5 cable and it wouldn't actually switch um, but I found out there was only 3 wires connected so that's going in the bucket so the power can enable it. I've just got connected up to a battery here, a 12 volt SLA battery, just temporarily. I'll put power poles on it. I won't show you the bud job, the bud job between these, this uh, Cat5 cable, but needless to say, it's connected. So let's turn the multimeter on. The multimeter turned itself off. That's good to. Okay, so we'll make a noise once we're getting continuity. Okay, so there's our common. So I'm going to turn the switch. You can hear the relay switch in. Ah, there we go. So number one is the top left. Number two is the top right. Number three, bottom left. And bottom right, number four. Excellent. So if I just check those other positions. Yeah. I can hear it. Hear the loop. Can you hear the relay switching? So that's the switching between them. Excellent. So it's all operational. Um, and the next thing I do is actually I'll need to get some antennas connected up to it. Right folks, I've got the uh, remote um, antenna switch configured up, but what I've done is I've actually installed this extra antenna uh, in my garden. So this is just one of my adjusted waves, a uh, quarter wave vertical single raised vertical, single, yeah, single raised vertical, um, set on 20 meters, and the original antenna is actually my off-center fed dipole, which works on 40, 20, and 10. So that's going to give me an AB comparison, and on the antenna switch itself, the box, so num number one is the vertical, uh, number two is the off-center fed dipole, and this one here that says T, this goes back to the transceiver. And this uh, RG45 cable, this is very cheap uh, Cat5. I'm really going to get some uh, nice shielded Cat6. That's what I really should have uh, ran. Um, but just what I had is left over from uh, a CCTV system that I had. So that goes back into the shack. And that's how we'll actually change um, 
between the antennas. So let's go and take a look at the shack end. So I've got the switch hooked up in the shack here. So this is the control box and it really is a lovely box to use. It's got a real nice feel of the switch. So that's station, that's one, two, three and four. And obviously on the back, you can see the DC connection and the RG45. So you probably don't see this for the light, but the cable, RG45 cable just runs out the window. And I've just got it hooked up to the battery and I will get power pole connections on these. That'll be the next job to do. So what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll actually do a little A-B comparison and we'll just have a little difference, a little listen uh, between the, the antennas. It was about 10 over 9. That's on the, so switching between the antennas is actually very little signal difference there. I'd actually say that the vertical was slightly better on that uh, station. Again, little difference. So what I thought I'd do, since I had the chance, was I thought I'd actually fire up the old girl. Um, this is actually a great bit of kit, and it's it's like brand new. I use it that uh, infrequently, but I've actually I'm going to hook this up to the vertical. Um, so that's what I've got it on now, and I've got it just I've got it tuned up there. Apologies, you can't really see that. Um, but it's a. Uh, yeah, it's ready to go. It's tuned up. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll see if we can make a few contacts, few contacts with it, uh, and uh, just give a little bit of use. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Mike, Mike, zero, both Papa, X-ray, Yeah, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, five nine zero zero one. Good luck. Yankee Oscar 7 again. Uh, Roger, Roger, Yankee Oscar 7, Lima, Lima Hotel, 5 and 5, 55 is your report. Name is Colin, over. Yeah, to Mexico Zero, uh, Kilo India Echo, please correct me if that's wrong. My name's Colin and I'm located in Up Hall, just next to Livingston there. And I'll give you a report on the next over. Uh, 2 m 0 KIE, MM0OPX. Yeah, no problem, there's Colin. Yeah, Colin, 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 So I didn't get it on video, but I've just worked the station here. This is 4 Kilo 6 Fox Ocean. So this is Azerbaijan. So uh, I don't work that too often, so that was pretty nice. Well, folks, just about time to wrap another video up. Um, so conclusions about the Switch. Um, do I recommend it? Yes, definitely. Um, as it is, I would probably put it in an enclosure if I was going to put it outside for a long periods. But if I'm just going to use it for the weekend. I'll just put some tape around the connections and it'll do absolutely fine. Um, it was good to see uh, checking out the two antennas doing the AB switch. Nothing to do with the switch, but it was just good to know run two an two antennas on the same band, um, and good to see that you know certainly one antenna is better than the other for um, depending on where the uh, the contact is. And um, put some power through the switch, so fired up the Acom, um, running legal limit on it, no problems at all. As I said, I believe this thing's rated for uh, one and a half kilowatt key down. Um, uh, 3 kilowatt PEP. Um, I'll put a link to the um, the switch uh, down in the description. I'll try and put a link to where you can buy one. 
and actually a link to the manual um, because the manual is just actually worth having to read uh, if you're considering buying one. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased with the switch. Um, it's going to be really good um, when I go and set up my portable antenna farm. Um, it's going to allow me to, to switch between antennas, antennas uh, effortlessly. So yeah, if you're thinking about a remote antenna switch, um, the GM6DX um, antenna switch by Billy, um, it's definitely worth a shout uh, and some consideration. Okay, 73, and um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.